Episode 66 of Destroy All Humans is Martian. And this marble was cracking. Let's we'll go. Sandwich below. Hit the comment. Share your uh, email us music, your questions, your stories to destroy all humans pod at gmail.com. Let's destroy all humans pod at gmail.com. We appreciate everybody who sent us some shit so far. We're going to play submissions next episode, but let's get this shit started. It's, uh, it's the 6-6. Six, six? You yeah. said right? 66. And today, today, today of days. Damn, son, where'd you find this? We have a very special guest in the building. We got AJ Iglesias, my good friend, and stand-up comedian in the building. What up? What up? Hey, what up Welcome to the... Thank you. It's about fucking time, honestly. Eight. I know. Studio? Me, and, me and the homie have been talking about this for a minute, and he finally finally touched down. It's, it's super exciting, man. He's got a show, actually. Uh, Yeah, that was yesterday. Oh, actually, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I had a show yesterday over in nice. San Diego. Yeah, with awesome. my boy Tommy Lucero, you know. Fire. Went down, just did... <laughs> Did 15 minutes, made people laugh, and then that was it. That's it's, right. a, it's a weird, yeah, it's a weird it's thing. It's good, though, you say? No, it was cool. Yeah, nice. no, everyone, it was like a kind of a intimate show. Like, it's a small bar, so like, the, like all the seats were all filled up, you know Fire. what I mean? You're looking at every single person. How was, <laughs> where was the venue? What Do you remember the... Oh, yeah, it's called the Main Tab Tavern over cool. in uh, El Cajon. So it's kind of like intimate, or was it... Was yeah, it's like spacious? they have like a little like outside seating area, nice. so like they kind of had like everyone just kind of funnel back there. Fire. So I'm just sitting there just like looking at all these people yeah. while I'm telling the jokes, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I always like it a little bit better when I think the floodlights kind of drown everybody out and I kind of get to do my thing. But yeah, like, yeah. I see people's like reactions to everything I say. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's because like I can be like, oh, that joke's not working. They don't like that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's, that so you old can lady kinda... seemed personally offended by that. So that's that's cool. You can kind of like feel it out pretty quick if, yeah. if like a set's not. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And I mean, like if I'm doing like a showcase like I did yesterday, um, you know, like two or three comics will go like before me and I kind of get to get a feel of like what people are like really into yeah. you know what I mean but like yeah, nowadays yeah. I've kind of just been if they're if I'm doing if they're like oh we'll have you like on there for like 15 or 20 like I'll, I'll make sure I have like a like a tight set that I cool. just that I always like kind of go back to yeah. you know repetition you make it it makes you sound a little bit more professional and shit like yeah, yeah. yeah. like I always make fun of people that get booked like on a showcase like that something like fancy it's a bar show you know what I mean yeah, but like yeah. They go up there and they start like checking their notes and shit. That pisses me off so fucking much. Oh man! They'd be like, "So anyway, uh, fucking <laughs> like I just like pull their phone out and shit. I'm like, what? do I got in the bank? Uh, well, yeah, you know. Uh, or they go, we... what do you guys want to talk about? Uh, I'm like, you should already know what you want to talk about, man. What can I stick? Uh, oh shit, that's, that, a, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah, what what uh was there any anything any bad sets that you seen like at yeah, the show? Like, was it pretty slick? I mean, not nah, like half of it was kind of shitty like yeah. i'm not gonna lie like uh they he, the heat like i think uh one comic walked like a whole table of people <laughs> oh shit oh, shit. yeah oh, he shit. was just kind of eating it up there for like God. they only gave him like a like uh i'll tell you what i love it when i'm, I'm in the presence of a bomb oh my I God. love it it's, it's kind of like walk, watching a fucking it, train it's like just, train wreck dude uh, it's almost like i feel like i'm just like ah uh, I get hit with a wave of oh. uh, just like oh, no, satisfaction. No. Oh god! But no, I, it's it's also just like it's it's also just kind of cool to see how they handle it because some people just handle a bomb pretty well. And no, yeah, just, like, and most comics are down. real good at that shit. But yeah. like, you kind of just got to power through. But some of these guys. Yeah. They'll like they'll like acknowledge that a joke doesn't go well, and like that's where it kind of gets me. They're like, "Oh, you yeah. guys didn't like that one." Uh. <laughs> it's like you should never point out like that I don't know. Bad. You should, yeah, yeah, that you're not yeah. doing well. Yeah, never identify. Don't like draw attention to I the think like definitely something a good not going well. Yeah, you know? yeah. Then they yeah. start like you see like the implosion of like a comic when they start bombing and they like acknowledge <sighs> the fact that they're not doing that hot. You know, they're, yeah. They're, like, you guys didn't like that one. I hope you guys like this one. Fuck. And then they, then they just start like overthinking. You see them just like crumbling, you know? What I mean? It's like a like, local band right there. I hope you guys like this next one. Here we go. <laughs> that is I know we fucked up a couple of chords, but you know, yeah. let's, keep, let's keep it moving. That is how I act. 
Our base is going through withdrawal. That's a, sorry about that. Oh god, he hasn't shit in five days. <laughs> oh, it's all happened at once. Some <laughs> comics are like that too. Like I stopped <clears throat> drinking about a month ago. I'm like, God, you were funnier when you were drinking, man. Yeah. Yeah. So how many shows do you think you've done? Or like, actually, that's that's kind of a broad question. How, I'll oh, say fuck. how many. I'd say you got it kind of down. I think. I think like from like last time we hung out, like you know, from uh, I think the show I did, like first Wreck, time I Wreck met. Wreck Ranch, man. Yeah, that was like yeah, five, legendary. six years ago. I know, yeah. man. So fucking well, legendary. Such a good time. But like from then and now, I remember you were, you were talking about like what you were doing, like where you kind of like briefly, like very generally, like yeah, yeah, yeah. never like really intimate, you know, super mm-hmm. de- like that crazy. But I definitely knew what you were trying to do, and it's just crazy how far you came, dude. It's just super. Yeah, crazy, like at bro. that point, I was only like two years in. You yeah. Know? Right, right. So um, I was kind of like just like hitting up like open mics like in like uh, like in the Bay Area and stuff because that's kind of where I was close. To. I was living in the Central Valley like where you came right, out. Yeah. So like it's either it's tough to I, come out of there. You know what I'm saying? It's a bitch, man. Like, yeah. There's like no, there's like nothing there. Here, you know I mean? We were in a place called Los Baños, which is the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's Spanish. that's that's where I was at. Yeah, this that's dude drove all the called. way. From, you were in San Jose at the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He drove all the way from San Jose to do that little, yeah, little, little show. It was cool. I was like, because I was in the same boat. I just wanted to get some just practice. Just, yeah, I, I was taking anything. I, t- I was like, and but at that point, I really wasn't getting anything. And you were like one of the first people to throw me like a really cool gig. And I was want to hang out with Prohibio and them. So I was uh, kind of like out there. Yeah, the no, because I, I remember <clears> like I, I linked up with you during when so, Prohibio had like that secret show at his place. So shit, yeah, I would like back then, like shit, we weren't getting nobody was getting. Shit. I think we were. <laughs> I left when I left Wichita. That was like pretty much the end of my show days for like a, a little while. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. Because I, I think you know when you're. I think local. I think it's super smart to take advantage of that and to just, yeah. just to like just get run time, that shit yeah. till it is fucking old and it is just like so. Just I don't know, like almost like a it's like driving a car where you're just yeah. like every venue is just like yeah, I've been there, I've been there. It's just like no, I totally. But that's that, that means you're yeah. getting super good at doing shows no you know for sure saying? like there was a spot just, in los banos that i did yeah. like they would do they would do like stand up there like i would get booked every time because I'm, I'm the local right. comedian, you know what i mean so it's like everybody i think i think new. every comedian comedian a great comedian i've heard of like they're always like as a, pro, a stage time is the only way to get better so i was just oh like, that's just oh 100 percent. that's like, cool I, I i've definitely felt like rust from like not doing shows right like a little yeah. bit like if i have to like lock in somewhere else and be like fuck i gotta like work for yeah like, six months to try and just like get myself established somewhere else oh know? yeah for the listeners man you came but you 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 were doing but then you moved to hawaii that's where you kind of got things kind of going well going, yeah or, honestly yeah say? dude um yeah. i was like i had like some like decent stuff going on um in the bay area like i got to do like uh tommy t's over in pleasant Hills, a comedy clubs so, like it's the biggest club i ever did fire and i was like all right dope this is sick but like the minute i moved like when i moved to hawaii like i wasn't thinking anything of like um like stand-up was like out there you know i was like yeah. you know i'm just moving out there just because it's covid change the scenery i got family out there fuck it why not i don't got anything tying me down fire. yeah but um I mentioned it to like a, a friend of mine. He goes, "Oh, like I know some people that that do some shit like here. At, I live in uh, Kailua Kona, and like it's just kind of like a smaller town too. And they're just yeah. like they do shit there like every Thursday, bro. Go check them out. That's sick. So like I go and I uh, like I, I do my thing. I just do the open mic, you know, just kind of get my you know get my foot in the door over mm-hmm. there. And then they're like, hey, like you're, you know, you're pretty decent, man. Like you should start coming out and and doing our, our showcases. We'll book Fine. you for a couple of shows, and then you just start for." Uh, like I didn't realize I met way more comedians living in Hawaii than I did in California because so many people like uh, fly like will fly and like they'll do the whole island chain, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. So they like would stop by and yeah. they'd be like, Oh, like, oh dude, like uh, you know, I live down in LA, like oh I live down in San Diego, you should come down and fucking do some shows with me, bro. Like I'll you know, I've flown out a couple of times just just to go do some shows in California. That's because so of that. Nice. I got to do my first uh, uh festival because I met my homie who actually lives here in LA. Mm. Uh, my homie Mike, um, he got me a spot at the uh the the Savage Henry, the comedy festival up in Humboldt. So I got to do that it was three days, oh, just cool. straight shows, all comics, like 200 comics. Oh, man. Doing shows. So, so yeah. that's like, yeah, that was, that was cool. And I got, I got all that just because I was in Hawaii. So like, Yeah, dude. That's, see, and that's just, I think comedy is just so cool like that. I kind of envy, because it's kind of like, to me, I always like a, a parallel to music in a way yeah. of like hip hop. Or like if you're a rapper or whatever, a musician, really any musician, if you want to, whatever, apply it to yourself. But like I always like why I admire. I always I think it's like harder to be a stand up comedian than it, to, to be a rapper. To like for me, well, I you just don't find need that laughs. to be. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean, like people yeah. can just be staring at you during your rap show, and you're like, "This is going." You're not in your brain like this is going horrible. You know, no, yeah. that's true. Like, people are just like, yeah. you know, so they could not be digging it at all. But yeah. them just being around is success to us and like performing. Like, it's like I wish I could yeah. drop my sets like on SoundCloud, bro. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, sick that would be. <laughs> Dude, but who's doing it? Nobody's doing that. 
be the you could be the first to do it. Just like two minute um, snippets, like I'll, yeah, yeah. Just name do one liners, name my bits and everything. Do the, yeah, like, like when you album. do stand up on like Pandora or whatever. Just oh like yeah, that. just like that. Yeah, yeah. each track is a one line. Oh, it's a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking epic one line. Dude, oh, um, they're all just like thirty seconds to uh, a minute. I really do admire like just com- comedy though, and just like writing comedy. Cause I don't, I really, I fucking, I don't get it. And I, and it's, and it's not that I don't, I don't understand it or like, mm. cause I know different like styles and like ways of uh, punching and like kind of like reverting back to and like all that stuff. It's mm. really cool. And stuff I really don't know. I can really, you know, but like, I, that's how much I respect it. It's just, it's so hard. It's so hard <laughs> to be like funny, like legitimately like on purpose, on, like, on purpose. Yeah on stage and to have the material written it's just crazy to write a joke it's so hard to write a joke <laughs> I, could, I could write you a 16 and it'd be like all right in 30 seconds i couldn't write you a fucking i couldn't write you a joke you know what i'm saying i couldn't write you a joke. Write me like a five they, minute, five there's a gun right to my now. head write a joke and make me laugh i could not do it dude <laughs> yeah i just couldn't do it no no i mean i i, I get it though I it's like it. like for me like i'm not a, i'm not that much it's of so like a, cool to me oh for sure it's like, like the like, coolest like, shit i'm not a one-liner if comic so like that's the hardest part for me like, that might be like the one thing i'd switch with like shit. that or singing if I could sing, that'd be amazing. Because swing, if you could sing, you'd been singing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah right. you're not gonna just discover it. No, I know. It's like if you trade, if you had like a yeah, yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah, but like that'd be crazy though. If you just like fire. secretly, you're just so good at singing, dude. So, yeah, you say that though. Like oh, my, my buddy George went from rapping so to cool. doing comedy recently. Let me tell you. Oh really? Yeah, he. Um, oh nice. Like uh, he did. He did record ranch with us. His name's George O. But he was like. He was doing music, but he moved up to San Jose and he started going to the improv. Oh, and dope. He's like telling jokes and shit. And I was like, that's cool, fuck? man. I'm like, can you be See, less like, down? There is dude? like a, how do you find that? Like, there is like a setup and a punchline. Because I would rap love to, though, do that. in a lot of like ways. There you is. Know what like, I mean? no, like, for sure. Like, there's a lot of like good one liner rappers and yeah, shit that like, like make it funny and stuff. So, like, like yeah. You can kind of see like where there'd be like people I able can, to like transition. I feel like if somebody sat down with me and was like, like, here, it's kind of like this. And then I'll be like, oh, really? Then maybe I can figure it out. But, that hasn't happened. I don't really get it. I can't. I just know like you have to kind of have like a a good view of humor, but in a way From where your it's voice, not corny. I'm gonna guess you're thinking Cat Williams is doing this to you because I know you and I know you love Cat Williams. No, you know what? I, had <laughs> I feel like you would though. Like you, know you would be like, I listen here. Like, uh, <laughs> I had Charlie Murphy. The Illuminati is coming to kill you. It doesn't matter what jokes you make. <laughs> no, nah, I, I had. <laughs> I had. Uh, I had. Uh, I had Charlie Murphy teach me. Like oh, in my yeah, brain, yeah. I was having him say, "Now listen, this is how you do it." Yeah, no, exactly. This is how you do it. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's cool. No, I, I think so. And then, so Hawaii is, would you say, pretty much you kind of got that like down to that that whole scene? Yeah, kinda, kinda, I mean, like I got the, the like a, yeah, like I did my first my festival, belt. and then I got my my biggest show was actually <clears throat> in Hawaii. It was at uh, fire. Is at the uh, Aloha Theater in um in Hilo, and I got to open for fucking Polly Shore. Oh hell yeah! Oh, yeah, shit. that was. Nice. Yeah, that was a Ooh, fucking yeah. that was a trip. And that kind of just happened. Some. No, exactly. It, it, no, he's exactly how you think he is oh, in real no, life. I know. Did he touch your back? No, he didn't. <laughs> I heard he touched he, people's shoulders. Isn't he playing and stuff. that uh Gene Simmons yes. or whatever? Oh, cool. In that yeah. biopic that's coming really? out. Yeah, he's that's gonna play cool. Gene Simmons, the, oh, the fitness he, yeah, guru. Yeah, he like started like that's a dope. like a I thing like for it. People were like signing a petition to make him like Gene Simmons, and I'm like, he looks like fucking Gene. Simmons. He does, <laughs> he and does. Gene Simmons is like not approved and, of and, it, I guess. But Gene Simmons <sighs> is also like very just secretive yeah, Gene's, anyway. Gene's and I think he's just skeptical of Paulie Shore. And he just wants more money. Honestly, he's probably just like, well, Paulie's kind of been like on this like. Is it a comedy or is it like? No, I don't think it's supposed to be like. That'd be fire. He's really a good actor. I don't know. I like son in law, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I like Encino Man too. More of a goofy movie guy myself, you know. Yeah, I know. It's I like, like being a true. childhood star. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was the the stoner friend. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know, Mr. Mason. Mason. Man's, uh, classic. The cheese. Yeah. He I think the one uh where's Is the, he a weasel? Biodome? Or not? I love Biodome. No, he's a dog too. Oh, sick. Biodome is the one too. Huh? Was was it'd be cool if his character was a weasel in the Goofy movie? That would be because he was, you know, all dogs. Unfortunately, yeah. it would it would have made so, more sense. Did you ever, did you get to chop it up with him? Or I did kinda, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, that I was, heard he's really nice. No, he's cool. Um, That's cool. I've watched like a bunch of his stand up, and I've seen <clears throat> like some clips where I just know he's like just faded, and he's like out there doing stand up. <laughs> I guess yeah, he was sober that night, and like the way like the way that I even got that gig was really weird. Like I had a friend, um, her name's Justine Smith. She does stand up like all over Hawaii too. And oh, right on. She she's based on the Big Island. She's like, hey, um, 
they need another opener for Polly Shore. Do you want to do it? I was like, oh, cool. is water wet? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. I'd love to go do that. Fucking yeah. Man. And he, uh, he came like, he had like his own dressing room, obviously, but he like, came back and like, said what's up to us. And he's like, oh, it's that looking sick show guys. Like, it's gonna fuck, be, yeah. We're going to have a fucking great time. I would be so hype. Like if you, like if oh, I was, bro, it was, so it, was, it was cool. It was like sold out theaters, like 500 people there and shit. Like it was so cool. It was fucking gnarly. Like I felt <laughs> like, yeah, but I kind of like, I, I was so like, I, I never really feel nervous like doing stand up, but like there, like I did, like I was like sweating my ass off. I was yeah. like, dude, I'm gonna fucking pass out. I think I went up there and I blacked out for ten minutes. I did great, <laughs> you know. Right. It's, it's like Will Ferrell in old school. What, what like, material is, is this material that you kind of just kind of? Like, yeah, like I kind of you... like call like my own like my own greatest hits. You know what I mean? Like nice. I kind of like, kind of just merge them all together. Yeah, something that like I know good shit works for like a like a general audience. You know, like I've never <laughs> did, I've never done like an audience that big before, so it's like yeah. even if like. A hundred people laugh, like it's still like I still a lot of laughter, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, it's different from doing like a show that like, I just did yesterday where it's like 15 people and they're yeah. all kind of like just chuckling at you the whole time. Yeah. When people are like are actually like you know belly laughing and then like you hear like that wave come through, like that's when I feel like I feed off that energy and you just start just start rattling them off and then you just you know that's so sweet. and I opened the whole show too, so like it was me, Justine, and then Polly. So, oh, like, cool. People were still kind of pouring into the theater when I got on stage. So like I kind of was like shit in my pants about that. I was like, oh fuck, no one's gonna listen to me. And I just started started getting into it. And then like everyone kind of like I saw like you know, people start looking at me and shit. Like it was it was nuts. Yeah. That's so fucking cool. That's dude. so dope. Been chasing that high ever since, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's so it's so cool how like you describe it because it's very vivid. And like how does it what so how does it go um putting together um that material like finding your greatest it's like how do you know which one is a like that's a honestly bro it's 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 like repetition is key right you know like you can be in the middle of writing a joke you know what i mean like you can like i I, honestly they come in like drafts you know it's kind of like like, write an essay or something Mm -hmm. like you have like your rough draft you're like i'm gonna go to the open mic like that's that's where you're supposed to go to go practice new shit is an open mic because it's it's five minutes you practice like two or three jokes see if they hit and kind of like work on them from there and then like you kind of just start to like with Your me, like just remembers kind of which ones, like yeah, which one, like most? which one hit, like you that's know, that's cool, yeah, and like I never like, I that's know, wow. How your brain can remember that. Oh, you yeah. know, like after so long, you know, you just kind of recognize which one's okay. That is kind of the one that always works. That's it's kind of, yeah, no, it's kind of like taking it like that's a trip. Like, like when you like quote a movie or something, you're like, yeah. fuck, I'm gonna remember that forever. It's like, that's kind of <laughs> yeah. how I kind of that's my approach that's to it. Dope. Yeah, I never write. Like I don't write it like to its completion. I felt right. that was always that was always felt like weird to me. I'll have yeah. like a topic, that's cool. and then I'll have like a, the ending, and then I'll figure out the middle when I'm on stage. Right. It's kind of sacrilegious to do. I know some comics are like you got to write every fucking word down. Yeah, and I'm like I can't. I don't think that way. So like I'll be like, I feel okay, like that's how Jesselneck does it. Like every word is to the T. Yeah, to but he's period. like one liners. Where it's like I don't think. Yeah, I guess he's. A I doubt like. You know, like Sigur, the way people talks, who like or have or more conversational. Like, the way he talks, I never think of him as a one liner, but he is a one liner. So no, yeah. he's so it's is. such a one liner. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just it always sounds like it's together for some reason because of the way he's just very proper. I no, for it's sure. Very, and it's like, like, not, but but uh, but yeah. No, that's so sick. Um, I just wanted to know because like I always just it's always intrigued me. I just oh yeah, think it's, it's the shower thoughts thing. mostly. To be honest, <clears throat> yeah, like just how like you're you know I th- you know not like music where you can see which songs are your best. Song. like he's like oh that one most people like that one mm-hmm. whereas like jokes are just kind of like it's so cool you have to you have to go out and just see it's like uh it's like a video game it's kinda oh see yeah which, bro like this one this one this one that one i've had some jokes that like land better in hawaii than they do here that's cool you know what i'm saying and it's like that's a trip to me that's because it's like it's like well fuck should i adjust it yeah to kind of do you feel like pressure to adjust accordingly to the area you're you're in or kind of like but to like, the local scene do you feel like slipping in like some local like store names or something you know like i, I want to do that but like i kind of <laughs> feel like that's like some hack shit to yeah, me yeah, like because yeah, like anytime you see like a comic agree. bombing and they're like give it up for fucking la guys and like <laughs> just to get some noise because their <laughs> jokes are no, yeah because no their noise. jokes aren't fucking landing they're just like give it up for the city that we're in let's go and everyone will clap because obviously they're like the sports funny. team they're like go Dodgers yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny I'm actually not a Dodgers fan but whatever I don't even like baseball to get your applause I will be <laughs> I'll stoop low I'll love you <laughs> I'm actually a Giants fan but <laughs> whatever you know fuck it no it's it's no that's that's real too fuck yeah. I try not to like do so much like local shit like I did it in Hawaii for a little bit because just like everyone's obviously so proud to be there and I get it but like out here it's kind of um it's just hit or miss because like I'm just doing so many different places. Like I'll like I'll do like a bar here, a club here, another bar here. And I'm just like I don't fuck, I'm not familiar. It's all nighttime anyway. I don't see shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the first time I'm actually like going out and like adventuring for the first time in SoCal because I oh, would just cool. 
go to the show, do it, crash at my boy's house, and just drive back home. Damn, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that's dope, man. No, it's it's definitely, I think, cool to do comedy out here. We had a buddy, he does stand up. He came out for, oh, fuck and yeah. he just was hitting up some, I think, just open mics, right? Yeah, there's this place called like The Wheel, I think, or something. Yeah, yeah. That's That'd be sick to mic. have you both on for one episode. That'd be hella funny. <laughs> That'd be a funny ass episode. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Um, Game. But, uh, Shit. So then, uh, so you haven't done one in LA yet, quite yet. No, no. That's um, exciting. Though. Uh, it's, it's eventually. Gonna I tried off. like years ago. Um, a buddy of mine is like, I have a lot of rapper friends. Like, he's, like you said, like, right, right, right. just kind of. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, he, um, he's like, hey, like my buddy's got like a store on Melrose. Like, you should come down. Like, I want you to kind of like, you know, just help me out. Like with the with the creative process. You're a funny guy, and I'm like, oh, all right, dope. <laughs> And it's not really like the kind of people like I really like hang out with. Like he's like very like hype beasty kind of shit. And I'm just right. like, ah, I'm not that at all. But I was like, fuck it, that might be fun. And then he's like, honestly, another reason too is my boy's store is like right next to this fucking open mic. You should go check it out. I was like, all right, yeah, no, that sounds cool. Like I walk over to this open mic and like I see him setting up. I was like, yo, what's up with the like how do we sign up? And he goes, Oh, well, you get to sign up like a week in advance and it's 10 bucks. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And like that's what kind of like turned me off. Like at that point, I was like, man, what the fuck? Like, fuck like, this I don't place. Wanna, uh, yeah, I don't want to pay to. Yeah. Like, why do I gotta pay for an open mic, bro? Like, and then yeah. a lot of people are like, well, it's like that down here. And I was like, it's not like that everywhere else. So like yeah. I'm just gonna keep doing it everywhere else. Dude, yeah, no, I, I think uh have you and then we kind of talked about it off. <clears throat> before we started about- they're either like pay or like a like raffle or something yeah I, feel like like, I, I don't mind here. a raffle like that's yeah. chill like there's like a million fucking comics here so it's like you know, and, you know but it was like you gotta piss you know 20 yeah. bucks and you gotta bring two people i'm like man fuck you like <laughs> <laughs> so that's some rap shit right there yeah no <laughs> you gotta yeah. pay and that's the tickets that's, that's pay to play yeah it. that's that's part of that's rap. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's so rap. welcome to being a rapper yeah <laughs> Basically. I don't know. I just feel like because like I've been like doing stand up for a while, like I'm just so tired of like being like, hey, like, well, you're a beginner. I'm like, I'm fucking not. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I bet because it's like after a while, it's kind of just like, man, I'm really, I can make people laugh, dude. Like, don't, don't act, don't act like I can't do this. Shit. You know, yeah, but like also you have to like ride like that thin line of like having like you can't have an ego as a comedian. I feel like Facts. you know what I mean because like the yeah. minute like you get like that ego like you're not funny anymore. Like, I, I you know, it's kind of yeah. like, mm-hmm. well, it's, it's, it's like I said, like, it's kind of like with rappers too. Like, you know, you like a rapper when he first starts out because you're like, oh, he's like, he's, this is sick. And then they yeah. get all big and you're like, you're not the same person anymore. All they have to yeah. rap about is being like a millionaire. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And it's like, the same thing with like comedians. You know what I mean? Like, I can't relate to like, I, I'm sorry to not relate Sounds to like, sick, dude. Like, yeah, 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 like bro, <laughs> sick cars, man. Sounds don't. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't have to pay rent. Sick, bro. I really appreciate yeah. it. That's awesome. My That's credit score is in the toilet, but uh, I'm glad you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I was. Uh, what do you think of Kill Tony? That whole thing. I think, think it's. That's... I think it's cool. Uh, I feel like Tony Hinchcliffe's kind of a dick, but like, right. I feel like it's a character he plays. I feel because... like it's up in the air with it now. With like, because it's like seems like it's people are flooding it now, which is kind of like also kind of makes people not really want to fuck with it anymore. for sure because i think they like they cap it at like 200 people because yeah, like my like when my boys were down there they were like they put their names in the hat but it's like at a, you have like a one in 200 chance of going up you know what i mean yeah and there's been guys that have been going for like six months at a time and they'll finally go up Jeez. where like you have like that random one-off dude i feel like you'd be so up. nervous once dude, you finally get and, to go and up. What do you yeah think man and if you have you watched and it's it? all on this moment like that's so in a minute it's just a minute too <laughs> check it's it like, out fuck. and, and we waited for six months for one minute, and then it's just—I'd be so nervous. It's and like, there's I people that get fucking minute. There's people that get picked like more than once. What's up with that shit? Like they'll get picked literally and again. I feel that's this life, though. That's you know just what I mean? Bullshit. I'd be so. Fucking some people mad, will honestly. go forever without getting picked. And some dumb Dude. asshole will get picked four times Twice. for some reason. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? crazy. But like, I mean, like he's a dick to the people who are bad at stand up. Which I mean, I feel like it's kind of needed sometimes. I find that's the best. He's part definitely of the just kind of being like the Simon Cowell. Yeah, oh you know? for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. Because when somebody goes up there and they actually kill, like he's like, "Hey, do you want to work for me for the next six months? Like, I'll take you on tour with me." And they yeah. go, "Uh, fucking yeah!" I was living out of my car, and now I'm uh, now, and then like he's created so many like just like working comedians. I know the yeah. Hans Kim story is pretty amazing. It is you know like and it's the, sick. And, uh, the Lucas other, David Ross right. or, or David Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, you're right. And then. Cam Patterson. Cam yeah, Patterson. Cam Patterson Cam's, like blew up because of the rock. Cam he is, just had rocks and he and blew I know, up because yeah, of that. I know. Just having rocks in and his a, pockets and fucking a changed his life. attitude and just yeah, and he's, and he's he was super, decently funny. I think he's the least experienced out of everybody completely. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't no, know. No, he is like, yeah, right. like he uh, I think Hans Kim and like 
Lucas are like I guess the best graduates or whatever. Yeah, but they're like more even, they're more polished where Cam's just like such a hilarious like he's just person kind of just on top of like letting it fly. he can still do comedy stand up really, really well, but it's like he's just also like so I feel like just talking with him, he's just so, like he's so just funny. Over my well it's like head, no, no, for real. Like I don't know if you've ever watched like Cam do like he did like Danny Brown's podcast. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, seeing yeah, the both yeah. of them just like feed off of each other see, was like, yeah, the dude. best I fucking that, thing I've yeah. ever seen. And see, Danny Brown's like another thing where it's like rapper and comedy so close. Where Danny Brown has never done stand up, but like you, I feel like he just murders it. Oh, he well, did, his podcast yeah. is yeah, under Tom Segura's like company. Yeah, like, yeah. So it's like they think he's hilarious, so they just were like, "You, you're gonna do podcasts for us now." That's that's uh, the, he was talking about doing a, a stand up thing. They're like, pre- they're so pressuring him to do that. Yeah, he's I know like, he's, he's working, working on, on something. Yeah. I, I listen to that shit all the time. So, which uh, he has super punchline. You rap, so it kind of yeah, like I feel like he like can what write. I was saying I feel earlier, like anybody can figure it out. It'd be him because uh, he's actually kind of. Well, I mean, he has I guess like Donald a, Glover did it the reverse way, where he did yeah. comedy. He was like acting, and but then, like, he did more com- comedic acting. Yeah, like he said, exactly. like, he did like a little stand up, but I think that was mainly like. Based off his acting, that he did. It, it was because he yeah. came up from Derek comedy or whatever. Yeah, so. I mean, honestly, his uh, like I, I I like Donald Glover as a, as a comedian. He's more, great. Like he's like really hilarious. Yeah, I can't fuck, say I half the shit he that said. Weirdo special. Dude, that weirdo special is like one of my favorite specials so to funny, exist. Dude. It's it's so fucking. Have good. you seen a mystery team? No, I haven't. That's, oh, dude, that's we'll Derek. Send you home with yeah, a that's, present. Yeah. that's Derek comedy. They uh, like we'll you know the people he made the YouTube videos with and shit. Yeah, like yeah. bro rape. And oh stuff. shit! Like, yeah, bro rape was him when it was like. Oh he yeah! Oh yeah. fuck yeah. yeah! Yeah, dude. Damn. It's yeah. Him. yeah. And, it's uh, a trip, right? It's uh, dude. Him and his those boys that he did that shit with. And didn't Aubrey Plaza come from that shit too? Uh-huh. Yeah, Aubrey Plaza like came out like they fucking um. It's, they made a movie called Mystery Team where it's like, so, oh, it's like no, this, group, I haven't watched this that. group of kids starts a mystery team like kids do, you know? But yeah. then as they grow up, they never grow out of it. So they're all like high schoolers being like, we're going to solve a mystery. Oh, that sounds and it's fucking like, awesome. But everyone but everyone around them is like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm watching that. Like, I'm so suck. watching that. I'll and they're like, that sounds fucking and, like, awesome. Fucked up shit. Shit. Yeah. I'll take shit. You guys are just putting me on right now. That sounds fucking great. We fucking love this shit. We would watch it like, all the time. It was that. on like early Netflix streaming. You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah, no, before I, they yeah. had like apps for it. When you just go on the website and, and your okay. computer and just be like, "No, mom, you can't use the computer. I'm watching seven hours of Lost right now." <laughs> we were ta- remember we were talking about GameFly not that long ago. Oh yeah, remember GameFly. Oh my god, remember yeah. Game I was so not allowed to have that. I <laughs> yeah. tried my best. It was to, like, expensive. Like dad, I would just but keep the one game for it was like t- eleven dollars a month or some shit. And then, like back then it was like eleven dollars a lot. month in like two thousand six. Like it's a like, lot. Yeah. It's a lot of fucking money. My mom was like, for real. You know, real. games haven't got that much more expensive compared to like everything else. Because they used to be like 50. Now they're like 60. They're 70. It's now. like if you 70? wait too, they yeah. end up dropping like 60%. Yeah, that's like, all you gotta do is wait. Like, 2K is worth like $15 right now, dude. I should well, yeah, have waited it's a yearly, out. It's a yearly game. Bro. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, true it's, that. I guess the year's up pretty much. So that's yeah. how that works. Shit. I feel like, honestly, I always feel like, like a drug habit would be cheaper than my fucking gaming habit. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Oh man, there's there's uh there's <laughs> there were, I was a victim of this game called Genshin Impact. No fucking Dude, way. I was, I've yeah. spent so much fucking money on Are you Genshin. serious? You guys both play Genshin? Oh, well, yeah, I was I got I got to get us into it as I I got way into it. I I opened fuck. him into a world of of just of It's Genshin. the most expensive video game I have in its free. Like, yeah, it's it's uh I, it was cool like because I was just like, I don't know where, just like it just popped up on my shit. And like it was during COVID, so I was just bored, you know? Oh, and yeah. I, I was just watching hella anime, just doing shit. I was like, this shit looked tight. And then I, we checked it out. I was like, oh, it's not a PlayStation. And then we downloaded it. And then it was like, oh, shit, you get this character. And then they, they got all these special moves. And I was like, this is kind of raw. And then the open world is what sold me yeah. at the time. I was it's like, really this cool. map is nice. And then, uh, uh-huh. and then the characters shit started. No, I, I got a friend who's like then so addicted to it still. Dude, and yeah. he's Elden like, Elden Ring came out and it like separated me because I just got my way into Elden Ring. <laughs> for people who don't know, I it is a fun game, but I strongly advise you just be ready to spend do not money, have money. <laughs> Don't play it. Don't the game. fucking do it. Don't yeah. play it. Because you're going to end up seeing something you want and you have to pay for it. You have to see you're going to pay for it. You're not going to get what you want. 
you're gonna have to pay for it again. It's gambling, like that's the thing I can't yeah. do, man. It turns into a casino. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's just an it's anime just casino. Like, do you, are you playing okay, the but game? If slots hit like one every five oh, times, you do it. You know? <laughs> true. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it is like the most. You're uh, only four black jack hands away from being Elon Musk. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna stick this out, you know, <laughs> dude. And uh, I remember the the day that I was like, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I'm done. I'm you're done. trying to get dilute. Yeah, yeah. I spent like a hundred and twenty dollars. Oh no. For, yes, to, and I got like the same like shit. And you got a different five star because yeah, that, he's done. in the general five star pool. Done, dude. I was. It. I was like, oh, this game no. is fucking. Then I got the him. Devil. <laughs> You're yeah, so I was pissed. pissed. I was like, this game is the. So you just gotta devil. keep trying, bro. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> never give up. I'm not gonna lie. It had me. It had me in the first half, and it fucked me. Yeah, God damn. Me, no, I, I I I didn't get into it. Thank God. But yeah. like, I have a friend who's like, he's into that Don't and like that it. other one, like Honkai Star West. Star Impact. Yeah, yeah, or some shit. Like he's yeah. he's playing both of those. I'm like, my brother in Christ, are you just made of money right now? Like, because like fuck? the story. He loves waifus. Because this is the thing too. The story doesn't. Yeah, probably. He's a total weeb. But. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's like, it's just you can have a fucking a harem, a, a harem, a harem of, 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 of fake women. Yeah, dude. <laughs> they fight for you. And now. <laughs> And houses, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, because then they added the like house part. You, you can build so it's like shit. there's a Sims part of it. Oh, and stuff. no, you can bang cool. your wives, but you don't spend money on the house ever. Yeah, no, no. Oh, dude, I saw this funny ass. I was uh, this vid of uh, <laughs> the, uh, Sims, anyways. Just I've been seeing a lot of Sims funny, like people playing the game again. It's getting me in the mood again. I remember playing that as a kid. Oh, man, you, you ever played Sims? Rosebud, I, Rosebud, Rosebud, I did on like a little bit. There was the herbs. That was on GameCube back in the day. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> remember that one? The I never hip, I, played the that hip, one. The, hip, the hip hop Sims downtown. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we'll Expresso and shit. <laughs> it's so bad. I didn't get too into uh, to the Sims. I've been playing way too much fucking Hell Divers recently. Yeah, what are you playing? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. See, that's that. what I've been. You haven't fucking hopped on that shit. Oh, I'm trying to tell them about that. That game has taken over my life. Yeah, we. We've been playing Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Okay. We've been on that. That also took over my life. Yeah. So like, dude, that shit's so far. Yeah. No, Baldur's Gate is. I I wasted like I I played it. During um like it's like it's beta run when it was just yeah. Act One, so I replayed Act One like a million times. Fire. And then when the game came out, I was like, "Fuck, I gotta play through Act One again." <laughs> but it was it was great. I have like I probably had like four separate campaigns, with like four different groups of friends yeah. that you just like hop in with and play. It's so fucking. No, good. yeah, we have a campaign. Yeah. Me, him, and my like one friend, but like we'll play together too and shit. Because then me and that friend also like got it before him, so we have our own campaign. Yeah, yep, that's like, how it works. What's uh, we're what's, like in the underdark right now. Oh, like fuck fucking. Yeah. What's your character? Uh, race or what? Oh, I play a a dwarf. No, no, actually, um, (laughs) I went outside the box. I usually don't play. I usually play bard like on tabletop D and D. Oh, cool! But I was like, I want to change it up, and I've been playing a a, a fucking human wizard. Oh, tight! And that shit, honestly. It, you're, it's a it's what some of the most fun I've ever had yeah, playing yeah, video games I'm, because I'm it's a, like uh, I'm a sorcerer I think or something I went more or mage like, I mage think. or something yeah like yeah okay so yeah it's way fun no nah, wizard is fucking crazy I just didn't know it was that fun I'm yeah. just, like, just throwing fireballs at everything yeah. this is the coolest shit I'm yeah. a dragonborn bard in ours or oh, whatever yeah. Yeah. so I'm just a dragon in a bard outfit like, <laughs> yeah. you're just saying dude I'm a uh, tiefling but then I can breathe fire because what's, of dragon your, what's your class uh tiefling. Or like your wizard. class is like oh major. Oh, like oh, yeah, sor- sorcerer. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's a sorcerer, sorcerer or a wizard. I, I, but I, I no. It's like uh, because I did a class where I'm like my subclass is a warlock. But oh the, no, you're a warlock then. But it's like, but it's like oh. two on the game. It's like oh, you're doing you're multi-classing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, it's I pretty cool. That. I didn't know they did that. I was super confused. I was like, I don't want to change. And then our then homie was a up. paladin, and then we like killed a bear or something, <laughs> an owl bear. So yeah, then he, he got broke like his a, oath. he broke his oath. He broke his oath. Oath. Oh, so can... now he's an oathbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, oathbreaker's kind of fire though. I have a yeah. friend who's like, he's a dragonborn oathbreaker paladin. Oh, that's so fucking busted. Yeah, he showed up to the camp. We're like, hey, what the fuck? I'm just here. I'm here for your homie. It's like, it's like, all right. Up, bro. We're, we're, on, yeah, we're on Discord, just like, hey, we got some to wait for yeah, you. you got somebody, he's gonna beat your ass. He's waiting, <laughs> by, he's waiting by the boat. <laughs> Welcome back to the Baldur's Gate 3 stream where we talk about yeah. our characters in Baldur's yeah. Gate. <laughs> dude, when I was making my character, I was like, holy shit, it's his dong, dude. Oh, like, yeah. Holy fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, there was a scene just in just the way we played uh, yesterday. I was like, 
I was like walking up on a, on a door, and then it was like loud screaming. Has it And then I was like, open the door, close the door. Oh. And I open the door, and then the dude's banging this huge dwarf. Like, oh this, yeah, no, the guy's like fucking the giant, lady. like yeah. She's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huge belly, and she's like all bent over, and she's, she's like, Argh! she's like, like the size of this building. Yeah, like. dude. And, and they were like, they're like, you fucked it up. And then they're just like, <laughs> like, like, I didn't want to kill you yet. Yeah. No, yeah. no matter like, what you like, do, bitch. I was fucking yeah. We we saved it right before to try out all the replies, and it was just like either way. You have to fight him. It's like you nah, ruin, you, you, you ruin you sex. There's yeah. no there's talking no, way out of it. Yeah, it's so fucked up. I love it. it. There really isn't. No, yeah. If you walked into some sex like that, <laughs> motherfucker. No, you're you're throwing hands with whoever's yeah, in there. Right? Both of them, it's actually. Like, dude, what the fuck? You cock pocket bastard. Jesus. Uh, and then you know what's funny? The girl was pissed uh, <laughs> more than the dude. The dude actually, we kept just putting him to sleep. Anyway, we're getting into Baldur's Gate talk. <laughs> I put, kept putting him to sleep. <laughs> that was funny. Oh man. Yeah, I've been on that. I've uh, been playing a lot of Five M GTA too. But that's fun. It's oh, always, oh yeah. I got into Five M for a little bit. Um, yeah. I got into the Red Dead version of that. Yeah, I got that, that too. Sick. Yeah, that shit. My, my dude is crazy on that level. <laughs> I love playing that. I got everything. On I gotta fix shit. my fucking PC. It took a shit on me on the when I yeah. when I fucking flew back. Like I think my motherboard's fucked or something. Oh, I, gotta, shit. Yeah. I gotta fix it. But yeah, I haven't gotten to play. Been making a weird hum sound. I got it's probably just a fan. Yeah, my shit. Go, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. Probably dust. That's God, what it says. I got a fucking monster right there. Though. Yeah, Jesus. dude. It's 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 a fucking it's a tank. I need to get. I want to get a cooler monitor though. I want to get like a fucking. He's got the banger monitor. Well, you should like, see his. Those, ultra, those like ultra wide ones. But this yeah. is nothing, dude. You should see the fucking. Yeah, we'll show. You fucking, it's from the the design Demon from Slayer. Demon Slayer, yeah. Oh, okay, it's sick. Hell yeah. S- Zenitsu? Yeah, name? Zenitsu. Yeah, yeah, I'm out here. I know the name. Mine feels like a fucking project car that you keep in the garage. Like, <laughs> it's like I've like built it up from like the ground up. Oh, cool. For like ever, and That's I've just dope. been like slowly replacing shit into it. So like, yeah, something will happen where I'm like, fuck, I gotta spend another hundred bucks on this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. I, 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 we, I had a, I had a. Uh, pay somebody you know we had somebody help me out with that I couldn't our I, homie back in Wichita where we were from yeah. he oh, like yeah. Uh, yeah, um, our homie Ian, he's yeah a, the guy we play Baldur's Gate with yeah. actually he, oh, uh, he's a beast he worked at like a place where he like would fix PCs and build PCs oh, yeah. and shit so it's like he just like was like when he found the Demon Slayer, he was just like, "Help put it all together." Oh, and then like yeah, he found, I got I was, like a Neon like, Genesis. Please one. God, because I, I, me knowing me, I, I remember back in the day, I would get those Gundam figurines you put together yeah, piece yeah. by piece. Oh, dude, I, I could never get those together. I love those things too, but I could they drive me nuts. I can't put together a fucking computer. Yeah, well, yeah. Then we have yeah that dude Carl, like our homie Carl. Yeah, do yeah. That. he's dope. Uh, yeah. He, his shit's yeah, raw. I was like, his got that. Is it Evangelion? I always say it wrong. Yeah. Evangelion or yeah. Evangelion? Is Evangelion. it Gelly? Gelly. Evangelion. 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 Just, Evangelion. Just think about Robin Williams when he says it that one time. Yeah, it's Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion. I forget. Oh, yeah, it was a one hour photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I get that one mixed up with this other movie, but that one's creepy. It is creepy. What, 23? Did he end up doing anything in the one hour photo? I forget how that ends. I think he just like stalks the family. Yeah, he's just being yeah. just, just weird. He's right? just a weirdo in that movie. That's yeah. kind of all it is. It just ends. Everyone kind of just forgot about that. It's kind movie. of a bad movie. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's like why, Robin? Why did you need? And to like do most that of one? the scary shit happens in his head anyway. It was like a scene right. where he like, rips his own eyes out or some shit. Yeah, and then, like he like wakes up. And you're like, oh, what, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like, such a cop out. I hate that shit. Yeah, it was all a dream, guys. It was <laughs> all a dream. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. Um, another movie that kind of bummed me out back. I remember, oh God, you know, it's funny. Robin Williams. I think I just I have a really funny memory because there was a remember the movie Kingdom Come that came out with Robin Williams. So when he like dies, it's when he goes back to get his dead wife who committed suicide. Yes, or something. yeah, that's a weird. Whoa, it's a trippy movie. Isn't that that Persephone? Persephone? Isn't that the story of Persephone or whatever? Yeah, something like that. I think you're right. Um, you, they journey to hell to like steal him back. Or well, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or is it all oh, the same thing with like Dante's Inferno or whatever? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that same, same shit. Same shit. And it's kind of, and the movie is, the, visually, it is a fucking trip. It is really shot for super cool and trippy. But this shit was funny because for some reason, we didn't, my family didn't, I was really little when the movie came out initially. So we yeah. were going to the the Easter, not the, the, the remember the palace? Yeah, dude, Palace pink, was lit. Okay, Palace would have the movies like after they were out of theaters. It was the they'd cheapest, be in the Palace for the, cheap. Yeah, oh, so I had a like, movie theater like that in Los Angeles. It was, so, like, it was so lit. Like, every small town it has was, that shitty theater. Yeah, it's yeah. like the movie's been out for six months. It's out <laughs> yes, of theaters, like, but you can go like, see some it in of these theaters. theaters were like there was leaking shit. Like, Lord you know of the Rings saying? was on like for three years oh, at a time. Like, and so so then. 
we, I remember pulling up and I was like, oh yeah, I'm so excited because it's Robin Williams movie and that's all I knew. Like all, that's all we all knew. We didn't, my mom definitely didn't know what the movie was about. That would have been a, t- so anyway. Oh, you're like, what, you've I'm watched all like excited. Flubber and shit out before the, this. I hop out the car. You're like, he's going to tr- make funny voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hop out the car. Hey, my wife killed herself. And I go around the car to oh, get my mom's door open just to help her. I'm just trying to open the door and I don't, and I'm not doing it like doing the handle i'm trying to pry open the door like i'm hulk while my sister's opening the door that's the only reason i can get my fingers on this part and, and then my sister closes the door oh, God. full strength to just smit dude and oh, all of a sudden fuck. my whole and I'm, ah, ah, and I'm stuck did you still go see the movie no my sister ends up pulling my hands through the small oh, cracks all Brittany, the way what the out. fuck god yeah, I damn I and then, and then my mom goes, what are you doing? And then I was like, ah! And then we're all freaking out. And then go back home. And we didn't see Kingdom <laughs> Come. Did you watch Kingdom Come? <laughs> we didn't see Kingdom Come. I mean, it's probably. Yeah, it's understandable. Probably your sister tore best. your fingers yeah, in half. Think about it. Yeah, it was best because that movie would have been really <laughs> awkward to see with your kids. That would have fucked you up really yeah, bad. Yeah, it would have been scary as shit. She the takes part, you to see Fisher the King. Like, because... uh, the part where they're going across the, the, the weird, and there's fucking dead people like crying. Oh, yeah, you, dude, it's fucked. They're walking on the fucking road of faces. And it's like, oh, help me, remember me. And it's like he's seeing all his like. Yeah, you would have had nightmares. Super rather creepy. than sore fingers. Oh, I mean, because like later I seen the movie, I was like, this movie's fucking terrifying, dude. Do you <laughs> not remember that Bruce Willis movie where he like meets himself as a, a kid? Looper? Looper? No, he meets himself as like a I love kid. That movie. He did play Looper twice now, though, because there was this movie from the 2000s where <laughs> That's it's why like, they kept he meets him. some kid and the kid's him or some shit. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what? That's and what then he meets an old him. version of himself at the, at the <laughs> end of the movie. It's so stupid. It was really bad. Do you know what that one was called? No, uh, I don't at all. But uh, what's that other time traveling the Bruce Willis movie? The non good one. Put, like, in, put the, in the other Looper. Like, so <laughs> my looper which also like rips off Akira for like part of it. It does, huh? The kid's just yeah. kind of Akira. Like, yeah. What other, what yeah. other shit just well, ripped off Akira? Tetsuo or whatever. I just, what does that one shit just ripped off Akira? We were just watching. We were like, this is basically Akira. Oh, shit. Remember? A lot of shit does that. I think. If you really think it, step back and look at all like the cool movies like Project X, or not Project X, that's a good party movie. Yeah, yeah, Project, Project X Chronicles. is a good Akira ripoff. That is the hill we will die they, on they, this they, podcast. No, party, they party of, uh, in that movie. Like, <laughs> the Chronicle. The oh, oh, Chronicle? Yeah, Chronicle. That was more of a Akira. Honestly, rip. yeah. Yeah, you're rip. right. That was one example I thought that because I liked that movie and I was like, I only like this because it's like Akira. <laughs> it's like, this is basically Akira. It's the kid that's just, I got the power and he's just like, killing everybody and shit. So I was like, Project X and Chronicle. They're, X, they're yeah. in the same universe, actually. That's they're, they're, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a fucking hilarious. You know, they're trying to work on a sequel, I guess, for, for Project X? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, supposedly. Are they going to call it Project X2? So Project it's like the Final Fantasy. No, it's going to be games? Project XXX. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a portal. <laughs> I think I've seen that somewhere already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was say, I think you can get that for free on you, you can find that right man. now. Um, yeah, no, uh, shit. Um, what were we talking about? But they're making a sequel for it for real? I think so. Yeah. The those... kids are like adults. They were kind of adults in the I movie. I think it's going to yeah, be new people. Yeah, they're like 23. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like, I'm in high school. He's like, bro, you're 36. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be in college or something. It's going to be like a college thing, I'm sure. Because you could probably pass for that. But like, how did he get in college, bro? His dad said he didn't get his college fund at the end of the first movie. Oh, yeah. True that. <laughs> he's Damn. a stripper. He's a stripper. <laughs> it's it's going to really... be a Magic Mike uh, and Project It's going to take a really be, dark uh, turn. Yeah. <laughs> Project XXX. They're going to combine the Channing Tatum is a big part. Let me help you guys out real quick. It's okay. You guys ever pop your pussy? <laughs> you guys know how to drop that shit? <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! Um, okay, and then uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, so we talked about some games, some gameage. Oh yeah, I was thinking about. Oh yeah, I have them. Um, what? Have, when's the? You ever fallen it? Like, <laughs> you ever fallen in the shower? Like legitimately? Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How? Like, I, I have to because it's only happened to me. I think like I'd say twice total in my whole life. Like where you just kind of lose balance and you just hit the fucking. That I just think it's the most vulnerable I've I've like one of the top f- moments of my life where I was I felt like a, a small little ant in this world because when you fall <laughs> yeah <laughs> naked <laughs> something very special happens where it's just like your whole being just crumbles as a man I think I like because you feel like oh you just feel like like a little baby I used to go camping a lot as a kid and yeah. they have like those like like camping just showers so it's just like stalls of different showers <laughs> yeah like i yeah, slipped and fell big, yeah. i slipped and fell in one of those motherfuckers oh, and oh it was God. more like shit. i wasn't oh, like shit. 
like I didn't feel small. I felt fucking terrified. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm falling somewhere strange. I'm naked. There's there's probably two dudes next to me. <laughs> just you just like oh, in, a, in a fucking snake outside. Dude, yeah, no, shit. honestly, yeah, like, like oh my god. Oh, the the first time I was at my dad's house and and he just like it was just a you know it's just a regular and just and he remember I remember him just runs up and goes you good little dude and I'm like. Yeah, dude, I was like, oh, like I fell on my back. Like it was oh, like, ridiculous. Well, oh, yeah, those are rough. Oh. It was ridiculous, like how, how hard I felt. And then the second time, I think it was, I think it was at like the first house for like a moment. And I just really? stubbed my toe hella bad. Yeah. Ooh. It's like when you're trying to catch it, you know? Oh, fuck. And, and the thing just fell off and I pulled the, the curtain I down. I passed out in the bathroom a bunch, but never in the. <laughs> In the shower, I, 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 passed, I passed up on the toilet before. That shit's not. That's right. pretty. One time, I was trying nice. to take Me and my friend took so nice. for his birthday. And nice. Just, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. He does. That's I guess last time, last time they saw me, I was like going to the bathroom and I <laughs> fell. You were comfy. You were well, like, yeah, but like they were like trying. To, I guess they were trying to open the door. They're like, "Oh fuck! What if his head's blocking the door?" Oh, no. Luckily, it was my feet. My friend just said, "Fuck it!" He kicked the door open. Here I am, just like <laughs> pants around my ankles. That's cold. them making too big of a deal out of it. <laughs> yeah, right. Just, uh, like, I was it's probably not on me that you had a crazy reaction to like a the mid situ- but, mild yeah, situation. But, I will bad. say though, I will say that if I didn't hear you for a bit. And I couldn't open your because of a because it was something in the way and you weren't responding. I guess I was gone for like an hour and a half. Yeah, so they were so like, "Oh fuck!" I would be, I'd probably. I think they all realized, like, "Oh shit!" I just split that with him fuck. to make sure. I remember right. I was trying to take a piss one time and I was like so high or something oh, in man. high school and then I just fucking. Ate it <laughs> and like and like then my homie comes and opens Damn. the door. And my dick's just out. That's the so like, worst. Like, That's he's like, awesome. "Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, dude, put your dick away." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> dude, like no. Coming out of a pass out. Oh, uh, look, dude, I I Bonnaroo. I, I remember because uh, I drank a little bit at Bonnaroo, and I was also highly highly mixing things. So I was. I remember peeing. It was the best pee of my life, and I was like leaning against the. It was like in the corner of the tr- that thought you know, the tr- the big long thing, and I was just kind of like hiding my head. And then I just remember like just closing my eyes, and I think I was like there for just like seven minutes, just, just passed out uh, with my dick out, just like just, uh, fucking, just like relaxed in this state. And I was like, oh my god, and I, just, I, just, I gotta go, dude. That was me so at fucking. Funny. That was me at EDC. I think actually. I don't know what's better, <laughs> pissing. You know, just nothing's like a great piss. But anyway, we got to the. Now we're talking about pissing, but so but you've never fallen in the shower. Though. No, just I, that's what I heard. I asked this fool, and he said he's never fallen in the shower. I just find it so hard. Uh, to not believe. that I remember, but yeah. I just definitely life together. That's what that means. Fuck. Yeah, well, I've no. fallen in the bathroom a lot, so I don't know. Like. In the back, like yeah, just... like because then this one time I like grabbed the shower curtain. So you, so you, so it's happened, and you, you've tried to fix. The... No, no, I okay. was like, it was because I ripped like I had like a fingernail that I slammed in a door that was like all like, <laughs> and I was like in my bed like I'm gonna take these shorts off or whatever, and then I just fucking yanked it. And I was like, oh, and I like ran to the ba- bathroom, and then I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, I look pale as fuck right now. Oh shit! I kind this is kind of what I look at be- before I and then I just like oh shit because yeah. I don't know I've passed out like a handful of times. So I was like, yeah. I kind of have that vibe right now and then i just remember like waking up on the ground, a real like, unconscious vibe right yeah. now. i'm like trying to like i'm like grabbing the thing okay. i'm like trying to put it back up and i was dealing with this roommate who like we had just lit moved in and then shortly after we found out he had like he was like on parole for like coke shit oh, yeah. and had like a coke addiction and stuff oh my god which like i would like at that point in time i was not the dude to live with if that was like yeah. you should have like let us know about that True so that. we'd be like Cause he's we, he's been <laughs> relapsing because <laughs> dude and then yeah he started relapsing and he like yeah. shot it Wasn't up that the i guess one, oh, oh what the shit. fuck yeah. god nah, damn. Yeah, that was you're thinking of the I'm other dude the that cool he got dude, into right? acid okay. too much yeah. and the 25 i that i was yeah. you know but but okay cool i thought he was just too trippy he wasn't like shooting up coke and stuff and then like so like he had just caused this whole scene the other night the other day before this where he like brought a hooker over like to the <laughs> what house the fuck? she was chill honestly like me and the host, <laughs> me and the host, she, she I, felt cool. bad, I felt bad Damn. for her having to deal with like this dude because he was twacked you know what i mean oh, and she's man. like she's like not like me and uh wygan were like watching one piece in my room and she's like what do you guys do and we're like watching this show one piece is pretty cool she's just like cool, cool. she was like not vibing with him at all and then God, like imagine so being too wanted, much for a hooker like yeah, that's right she was like fuck. and then he wouldn't drive her to leave because he's like, I'm too high, I can't drive. And she's like, I need to leave. And so this is like causing this thing. And then he was all coked out. So he's like, people are going to come kill me because of this. And she's like, I just need to like get out of here, oh guys. Oh my God. And so I had to have fucking Brock come and give her a ride because I was like not leaving this dude alone <laughs> in my crib because 
Yeah, There's yeah, fucking yeah. firearms and shit. And I was just like, no, I'm not leaving this guy. He's freaking out right now. And so like, yeah. So when I put the hole in the wall, my roommate, who was the landlord, came back and got so mad at him. Because he's like, man. Blah, blah, blah. You're blaming it on fucking Martian. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I had to be like, nah, that was me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that group was Dude, we kicked too. him out. And like fucking, I was like, we were like overhearing this. Because the landlord, he was like my homie's old, older brother. So it was like, he was just like another, he like had to grow up going and oh, shit okay, in the crib. Yeah. It was like. Oh super chill party house and gotcha, stuff for sure and like um like we fucking so he was getting kicked out because it was just like he was causing all these scenes and shit and it was just like dude this is gonna be a fucking issue you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know we he didn't tell us about the pro he didn't like he wasn't honest I mean, and he's like fucking shooting up kinda, drugs and shit is this it's a like, craigslist did you meet yeah, this yeah, person through craigslist yeah. we got that's the most craigslist shit ever then yeah all, damn we got all our roommates through craigslist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like i knew him his brother yeah. and then we had like that's like what I was four like, or I five think this Craigslist roommates, guy, like because yeah. it had two other bedrooms, like so we'd have like two guy. at a time. Other people, was Eddie good... was chill, but he got way into Sid. At least he was nice. tripping, but it's like uh, yeah, it's like a it's like a nice. That's way easier to deal with somebody being like too like that. Too right? yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Much yeah. rather have a guy yeah. just like going through like the fifth dimension yeah. rather than some guy. Then then there was this like girl lived with us, and she was cool. She had like a little dog and stuff, but like. She had like something. Oh, there's a, yeah, some. She was cool, but then on. like she, because he had to move, and then um, <laughs> fucking, then fucking David moved in though, and he's like still the homie. Yeah, he's, no, he's cool. He's I'm, the man. A lot of people. He lives out here of, in Riverside. What? Uh, but we kicked him out, and then he's like, "Those are my family pictures." We overheard. He's like, J-, and then the landlord just goes, "Fuck your family pictures." <laughs> 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 me and the homie like paused watching we were like watching anime or something we just paused that shit we're like yo we gotta overhear this, this did we hear the you ever done acid or anything like yeah that? oh fuck yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah no yeah. Der- uh, totally. fucking what's it called uh, I don't know if you remember uh, the other guy I did wreck it Ranch with Andrew the black dude oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's cool. he's, he was my acid dealer oh, like, right we lived on. together so like he was just <laughs> cool. like I was just like hey do you got any on you like during COVID I fucking I tripped so much yeah. during COVID because I wasn't fucking doing yeah. it yeah acid know? acid's really fun I mean, what other like you pretty much experimented or you just kind of like drifting like hallucinogens uh or, yeah so. like i don't like i don't smoke weed too often just because like i just like getting super stoned so do like you smoke before or like a set or no i actually or? i'm like i'm dead sober when kind i go on like, stage yeah, just because like i've done a show drunk do and i've done either. a show high and yeah. i don't like either like yeah. performances it was shit so i was like you know every what time, every time i drink uh before a, a rap show i'd always yak right before like no matter what i just had to quit drinking <sighs> that's already that's already like nerves Smoking. you got you got nerves plus you got smoking, your stomach all fucked smoking up smoking before makes you uh say the verse but then eventually you kind of get you kind of forget the verse and you're like eh, that, 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 that. <laughs> that's what it was that's what it was that's what so i quit do- yeah, that's one thing that. that's so, one thing i envy of like rappers yeah. like you can kind of just like let it let just yeah, like let the beat right a little if you bit have a backing track yeah yeah that, like you just helps. let that go like but i can't be like there that's i can't of- be like so anyway uh <laughs> 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 We're gonna move on We're gonna from let that. The chorus play for a little bit. <laughs> <next joke. laughs> that would be really funny, though. Have choruses in your like, stand-up. Yeah, yeah, your stand-up. Yeah, you, Back you, to the you, chorus. You're too high to do stand-up. So you have, like, <laughs> just like just replay a joke again. Right? Oh, <laughs> just shit. record your set. Like play. <laughs> classic. Hit the tooth on the mic. Every, oh, every nice. episode. Yeah, yeah he hit hits his tooth, tooth at my... some point. That was classic. Oh, gotta love it. Um, oh shit. Uh, so okay, then uh, what other what other any any shows like coming up uh, or just kind of like this one and then you kind of take taking a little. Um, time? I got uh, I got a show over at Merced in like April. Oh, buddy, a buddy of mine rolls okay. uh, those shows out there too. So like I got friends that like produce shows. Uh, I just uh, I actually just uh, produced my first show in um oh, in December. Fire. Yeah, it was a uh, it was actually my uh, my uncle's part of this the this the hat I have on. It's a motorcycle oh, cool. club. Shout out to the men of Hey. But, they're in a, they're based out of Modesto and he's like, Hey, we just opened up our, our motorcycle club like that, like the clubhouse. And he's like, and I want you to try and like put something together for us. Sick. I was like, fuck. Okay. Um, I have a bunch of fucking bikers that I don't want to get upset. Hopefully I can bring some funny motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It was cool. Like, you know, they, uh, like I asked, he's like, well, how much would you need to get paid? And I was like, well, I want to pay. Like I, I was going to host, like I wasn't really tripping on making money. Like I, I like when I do shows, like I like to try and pay all my talent and shit. Yeah. It's like. I know what it's like to not get fucking paid. Everybody feels good. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to bring three guys out. Uh, I want to pay my headliner 300 and I want to pay my, my two features 100 bucks. And he goes, oh, we can swing that. And I was like, fuck, I should have asked for fucking more, bro. Because like, they do like hella fundraising and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, they have, you know, they got Dude, money to blow. We like, got I'm, that. Yeah. Exactly. And then uh, after the, like the show was a success, like they sold it out. They had like a hundred people there. Oh, it was fine. like, it was, it was sick, man. Um, 
But then uh, well, the the club president was like, bro, why the fuck are you so cheap? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I need a grand next time I'm yeah. coming back because holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, that was like, dude, you got to do that again for sure. Yeah, no, I'm already, yeah. Uh-huh. good people. There's some good people. Oh, it is, man. It's a good, it's like just something to stay consistent. Like I know we're cool. shooting for like maybe like, May ish, mm-hmm. just so because like like March is a little bit too soon, and I gotta get I gotta source like all my co- all my comics come from the Bay Area, just because that's where I have all my most of my comedian friends. Yeah. All, or I mean, I can't fly people for, out from Hawaii just yet. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah. How much shit? That's a lot, huh? To go out there, quite quite a bit, huh? I don't, I don't yeah. know that I would. It's like it. I mean, like I think they're right now like six hundred bucks. Right Fuck there. yeah, it's a bitch. Yeah, that that would be quite a like a lot. My one way ticket was like three hundred bucks just yeah. to come back. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah, that dude. sucked, dude. No man, but, but yeah, I'm trying to I try to stay busy. I just got a lot of friends that like run shows and sick. Yeah, no, that thing I kind of just do that. But the fact that it's just that it went solid, man. You gotta keep keep doing that for sure. Cause... Oh yeah, bro. I I, I try. Are I you try. on TikTok and shit like that? Yeah, man. Yeah, cool. most definitely. Yeah, I have all that on the description below, so you guys can check him. Oh, out. Oh yeah, most definitely. I have all I... of his Instagram, his TikTok, all down there. So go follow him on there. Um and uh shit. So have a I've have you been like. Do you clip your sets for your TikTok and do it like with the the whole? Yeah, so like I, like I do like that, that sometimes. Like I throw them on Instagram and stuff. I tell like a lot, like I said, like a lot of the same jokes. Like I kind of like try and yeah, yeah. sparse no, out. Yeah, I think you know, that's smart. Yeah, but uh, TikTok's weird, man. Like my my stand up bits don't do well on TikTok. Really? Yeah, it's uh, my stupid like stupid think- dumb skits that I that I've made on TikTok have blown up more than like oh, the like jokes that like I rants? sit and I craft, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, ha, this would be funny and I'll just like do it really quick and I'll post it. Yeah. And it's just like a hundred thousand viewers. You're like, what the fuck was yeah. that like, about? Like I, I was playing fucking Hell Let Loose one day <laughs> and I was looking at all like the German soldiers and I was like, that's pretty funny. What if I just said all their names in a really stupid German accent? I recorded it Posted it on TikTok and it just blew up. And I was like, "What? The yeah, fuck? I follow it on TikTok. It's, uh, I, I, it's really funny. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Silly German names. Go. Yeah. People <laughs> just freaking out about it. Yeah, <laughs> it, German vo- German accent is always a hit. Though. It is. You can't it, go it wrong. Really it really is. is. Yeah. Mm. So it's just it's one of the top five, I think, for sure. <laughs> It's so like yeah, I try it like accent power rankings. <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about it again. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's top five. Top five. Um, That's probably like the biggest like social media platform that I've like gotten like traction on. You know what yeah. I mean? Like at first it was like Twitter for like a little bit, and then that kind of dies down. That shit's then- dead now, dude. Twitter. Twitter's Twitter so fucking is dead, bro. So it's so dead. <laughs> X. I still have it just because like I, I just yeah. I just have it. I have it too. Dude, whenever I go to anything, there's just it's, a million other videos. Like no one, there's no one reacting to every anything time, on Twitter. Every time no, I get it on, it's like used all to bots. be like you go to the fucking replies and it's like that's where the fuck. Like it's still like that on YouTube and like some other places. I feel like, but once you like kill the comments, I feel like it's dead. You know? Yeah, man. I, I every time I get on X, I I realize how so stupid how nothing I am on here anymore. Like I just feel like damn. I remember your last account. Oh, what happened? I remember that got like shut down or some yeah, shit. Or at Mavo, they like just killed me because back then we were really manipulating the the tweet deck shit. So I, oh. I had like I had like a couple different accounts that I would use to put my music through these certain like circulations, and mm. I would get like certain output. But eventually, they started shutting all that shit down, and it, it became like I don't know. That's probably the reason. But though at the time, it was because I think. Uh, Doc T's ex also was reporting all of our accounts because he was going through a breakup also. Really? So I did suspect that. That is hell well, Which is totally possible. But didn't she say that? I'm pretty sure she said that, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was a long time ago, but I've been trying to get that account back for years, but I, I'm pretty sure I will eventually. I'm not going to stop trying because a lot of people did get their accounts back because of the new, because it's under new ownership. Yeah, so, could yeah. Just, so yeah, I'm still trying. Um, and I will not stop until it's mine and I know it will be mine eventually. Well, Tech Nine follows you on there, so you got to get that. I would like, I would like it got back. That Tech Nine follow. I would like it back because he doesn't want to follow me again. Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Nina will follow you once, yeah. but not twice. I do have the metaphysics like original account with like 8k on yeah so i was thinking about just flipping it <laughs> i mean you could like i, I could don't, don't but i don't i know right because nobody fucking cares about the <laughs> other thing either i mean not that i think no one just cares about it it's, it's the, that's what yeah, i mean no not one. not the name it's just more like the account you know we don't really it's just when i get on there too i tried it the other day i, tried, I like saw a quote in my and he made fun of me for it oh. <laughs> and it was so funny oh. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, yeah, fuck. It was the quote. It, it was, uh, fuck, what was it? I think it still shows up on yours. Because it was like something I was like watching. I don't know what I was watching, but it was on YouTube. I was at work and then it, they said it and I was like, oh, I like that. Like quoted John Wayne or some shit. Yeah, like. and I was like, and I, and I tweeted it and then he quoted it with two laughing emojis. And I was like, what is this quote though? And then I like put it in Google. As the first, and then I was like, John Wayne. I was like, oh, hell no, I don't want to put it It's like John part Wayne. of a ra- like a part of a racist rant from him or yeah. something. Yeah, <laughs> <So laughs> it's just like a, a not, not yeah, racist yeah. part. That's why I was like, like, I don't want to oh, post, post my fucking John Wayne, dude. That no, was super funny. But that that's how that's how low I got. Like some that's how low I get when I open the app. Sometimes I, I resort to quotes. Man, yeah, no, the Wayneister. No, 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 no. How to kind of maneuver it? You just kind of kind of go sup. <laughs> no, no honestly though like, I'm back I it's, like, I, it's been six months I'm I'm back yeah What's it's that? such a fucking dead app I still use it though but like I, I've I like noticed it, I like it to look at just like funny shit mostly. I try to but, but most of the time it's all, it's all bots now yeah, right? it's, it's like, so fucked like, dude. I'll like post something yeah. and it's like a fake OnlyFans bot and they're like look at my yeah. pictures I'm like fucking Elon figure it out bro Like it's a lot of just like, 18 plus it, take virginity it's where, where, look at. It's, where, it's where you can get all the sex tape leaks and get all your like see, your, see my version first oh, time. Yeah. dude yes so many uh, oh, oh, my bobs that's yeah. basically OF the, the page you know it's like it's just yeah. a middleman for it really fucking is you know? so I'm just like I've been like trying to like what do you think of threads that died on arrival i feel like I know, like right? i like i a was on people, it i saw a lot of people today like i kind of like this thread shit today um I, I was like dude i don't know it's just the name of it doesn't even rock no, no it doesn't you gotta it's change not, the name if we're doing i it. could i couldn't get into it like i'm on it, it but like you, <laughs> it doesn't feel good you can't even like delete your account once you make it either because it'll delete your instagram account because it's tied to your yeah, instagram that's what uh-oh. i don't you like you thought it. you could get rid of us you know, know, yeah what the fuck hey you know what's funny you know you want to get rid of all your pictures you get your like the number they took your instagram like when you created your thread it's yeah. like the number which number you are I remember I didn't know what that was I was like oh what is on there and then I got I took it off and then I realized what it was I was like oh and then I was like oh well I want it back on there now and then I, you can't have it you can't put it back on there <laughs> I was like god damn it I wanted that but now I don't oh, I fuck, don't get, man. I don't get to be a part of it everyone's a part of it I don't really use threads I use it like twice I think I just think it's just another thing. I'm just like, I just, uh, yeah. Just should have See, like, Twitter's Twitter. too much thirst posting. Threads isn't enough thirst posting. Yeah, you know the, like, I mean? old Twitter <laughs> wrote that line perfectly. <laughs> you know I mean? It's like, it's like, well, I need a little bit of my thirst quenched, you know? What yeah, I mean? we need I don't little, need all that. I need, need to drown. We but. need a little bit of, like, chaos in the thread world a little yeah. bit. It's too, yeah, too sanitized. Throw some shit in there. It really is, though. It's like, that's, that's the shitty part of, like, I, I just miss old Twitter so much. I, know. I have, like, you know, you just, yeah, I feel like I stuff, do. like, blew up a lot more, like, naturally on there and shit, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, it was just, it was like, it was fun. Like, 2016 Twitter, I think, was like peak Twitter for me. <laughs> like, it was just. Yeah. And TikTok's, like, close to that, but it's still, like, way more, like, like you have to like bleep out shit and like stuff like that. You know, oh yeah, you don't, have to, to, you don't have to. But like the algorithm will like kill it like yeah, immediately. So it's like, like I've realized like if you don't like if you if you swear like in the first ten seconds like they'll just fucking they'll like they'll yeah. yeah yeah no it's, it's tough because I loved uh, like Black Twitter and just like the the just I think the old drug like remember. Uh, there's like an account like Purple Thizzle, like where oh, you put yeah. the drug yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, Twitter, yeah. yeah. Drug, Twitter, drug awesome. Twitter, Black Twitter. It's just like so funny. And I say that because that's what it's called. It's called Black Twitter. <laughs> you guys looking at me all crazy. I know what it's called. I know that. I love yeah, Black yeah. Twitter. This is funny. I was like, I'm going to come out for you. That's what it's called. That's what, I got. <laughs> that's what it's called in the streets. Whoa, dude. Why would you say the that? Twitter no, Twitter the Twitter streets. No. The Twitter streets. The Twitter streets. No, yeah. Just, it's just, it just doesn't even look like an app I want to open now. And when I, when I open it, I'm like, oh, I suck. It Twitter. says just the X on it already. I'm just like, Ugh. It's so dumb when like a word, like, dude, your company became part of the language. It's like, that's crazy. Like when you're like to tweet, it's like how people just say, Kleenex instead of like tissue, basically. Yeah, and exactly. And it's then, like, damn, when you get when your name brand becomes that synonymous, like in the language, it's like you can't abandon it. No, you know and that's what I mean? he did because he's just like, I want it to be mine. And it's like, no, you already have brand recognition. Like you, you bought the cool thing. Just yeah, leave it just alone. Fucking <laughs> ride it, dude. Like, yeah, I don't know. I wish he didn't buy, buy that shit. Somebody needs to just 
Uh, he'll never give it up either. No, he's not. It's, he's going to crash it. Yeah, he's going to crash it into the ground. I mean, over. more than he already has at this point. <laughs> it's over. There's like, always people who think that's why he did it. It was just because like yeah. he was getting shit on there, so he just I bought swear. it to crash it. Oh well, yeah, and then I people bet. like will still talk shit to him on it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, they're still making fun of me. We're just gonna <laughs> like this. Like, let it be. I'm gonna go design more cars to kill motorcyclists. <laughs> Screw you guys. And by design, I mean pay for other people to do it. <laughs> and then make it seem like I came up. I remember thinking, dude, did anyone else think this dude like was like a rocket scientist? And like, oh, yeah. when he yeah. first got presented to us, it was I like, thought he was I like he was doing like the, yeah. like the real life Tony Stark. I thought, I thought that was like him. this guy's a genius. Thought, How does he do all yeah. of that science? <laughs> right? I thought he was like Tony Stark. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, dude. And then you find he out like, he's just like some rich guy. This African mind money or whatever yeah like, like, what the, the fuck? worst kind of money you know yeah. what I mean? it's like, like so like what kind of mind white emeralds? dude from south africa with emerald money like it doesn't <laughs> get like shadier you're a, you're than a that. you're a batman at that point. Like, yeah, like, yeah, you're dude. one step away from human trafficking no seriously I mean? like, <laughs> seriously though he might be like the head of a lot of shit low-key though oh yeah oh, his papa was for oh, sure because sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know he called him that papa can i buy paypal please Oh shit, we did it. Shit, guys. Oh hell yeah. I didn't, I didn't even realize. I just looked up. Oh shit. Okay, shit. What can we wrap up on, man? We could, we could, we could, we could uh, I, all I had in my notes was CBD rehab. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. Someone going to rehab for, for CBD. CBD. Oh. Dude, just fucking. It <laughs> dude, was, I sleep too well. <laughs> I can't. Dude, it would piss everyone off there. So, because, oh, like, shit. you can take that. You can take that. Oh, with fuck you yeah. I, yeah. I might, if, yeah. I might take that so, CBD so swear, rehab. You can run with that. Because oh, yeah, I think dude. it's a great aspect. That is of so good. A Holy funny shit. Thing. It would be a funny thing in the show, too. I'm going like, to use that yeah. at the yeah, open mic gauntlet. Rehab. That'd be a good tip. What? He's into, what? He's a heroin or is it CBD? CBD, bro. He's fucking eating the fucking edibles uh, and smoking those fucking... I just feel really relaxed uh, all the time. He's doing but, bad uh, things. I'm just tired all the time. of not having generalized anxiety, bro. Like he's, eating, he's eating on time and things. It's weird. <laughs> but I'm still like alert and stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like... <laughs> he shows up. He's like, what's up, dudes? <laughs> it's all... It's like nothing but positivity. I just can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's all I had. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, we, that's a good rap. I think we did it, guys. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Episode 6 6, man. Man, shout out AJ. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for coming by, man. Hang yeah, out no, of course. Us. Thanks for fucking having me, bro. It's been it was awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Sick, bro. Uh, oh, sharing us. Share, sharing the stories. Sharing <laughs> some good stuff. Sharing us. Sharing us all over the table. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, hanging out with us and, and making that episode special, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, dude, thank All you. Right, thank man. you so much. Man, thank you, everybody, rocking with us. Rock with us next time. And, uh, relax. <laughs>